Ensure you got your money. To lose this building at the end, like having come through a year, would have just been like catastrophic. So it's, it's, it's huge. Your direct involvement in that basically supported us in getting the money. So it's well, huge. Well, you know, I'm, Honestly, I'm just so lot. thrilled and you're just such an asset to the city. I'm so pleased. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, bringing a family here and, you know, actually kind of participating in a proper... Yeah, yeah. Well, Panto this year is going to be epic. I think there's going to be such a, like, pent-up demand. We're also launching um, a pre-West End show here, um, one of our own, Bring It On, the musical. It's opening in Peterborough, first thing in Peterborough, then it does the West End. So it's like, you know, it's that whole, it's that so whole model. Where Peterborough leads, the West End follows. Yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. But certainly with Cultural Recovery 1 and now this project grant from the Arts Council, it's, it's a huge vote of confidence in the work that these yeah. guys are doing. So tell me about the money yeah. you received. So how, how much so we've got exactly? 250,000, yeah. which is, um, from what I understand, a, a, a very large sum in sort of the, the, the general scheme of what they, they award, which without this money, we would have been you know, in a really dire situation. We wouldn't have been ready to reopen post-COVID. So once again, every time I visit the new theatre here, I'm impressed. <laughs> and I'm inspired in equal measure by the facilities and the team they've got here. I'm so thrilled that the Arts Council and this government have given 250,000 to this theatre to make sure it's got a sustained and positive future because it's so important to the cultural landscape of Peterborough, the new theatre. They make me proud of Peterborough.